Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name. We thank you tonight. Thank you for your people. Thank you for every brother, every sister. Thank you for every boy, every girl. Thank you for every family. Thank you for our friends who have joined us. Thank you for all the people everywhere. We know tonight is a special night. All these tears on the faces of your people will be wiped away. You will destroy the works of the devil. Every prayer that anybody prays here today, that prayer is answered. Sicknesses will go. Infirmities will vanish away. Powers of darkness will be crushed. Poverty will go away. Causes will go away. And you will bless everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. Joy unlimited. Joy unspeakable. Joy untold. The kind of joy we have never seen, we have never known. Bring it upon every life. Everybody on this ground will have a touch of the Lord. Will carry, carry, carry miracles back home. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. See that in the blessings of the Lord. There is an invitation the Lord has given you. You in particular tonight. You didn't know the Lord was waiting for you before you came. He was waiting for you so that he can bless you. And tonight, blessings have come. Jeremiah tells us. Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 3. That's a kind of verse you'll not forget. 3, 3, 3. 33 3 and it's Jeremiah you will not forget this it's a special message for you it's a special declaration for you it marks a special day in your life Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call unto me are you sorrowful? Call unto me. Are you suffering? Call unto me. Are you depressed? Call unto me. Is there a yoke in your life? Call unto me. Are people making you run helter skelter? Call unto me. The paths of darkness are they will lay you on the way. Call unto me. Are you sick? Call unto me. Are they giving you up? And they said you will die. Uh -uh. That one is cancelled there today. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. What else are you looking for? That's the almighty God talking to you. The creator is talking to the creature. The savior is talking to the sinner. The great physician is talking to the patient. And the one that can provide all your needs is talking to the poor. The deliverer is talking to the oppressed. And he says, call unto me. And I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things. What's he telling you there? He said, a great miracle is happening to you today. This one, you will not escape this one. If you go to the right, miracle will run after you. You come to the left, miracle will run after you. We have been waiting for this day. We have been waiting for this time. The time when miracle will come. When power will come. When authority will come. And now the Almighty God has invited you. And he said, call unto me. And I will show you 
great things, mighty things, which thou knowest not. Tonight, the Lord is telling you, you can pray with confidence. You can talk to God with confidence. You can ask him with confidence. Because this is the Lord himself. He said, I know what you are going through. I know your heart ache. I know the pressure. I know the oppression. I know all the assets you are going through. I know the hunger. And I know the poverty. And I know what happens in the night. I know what happened to you the other night. And you are thinking, how will I be delivered? It says your day of deliverance has now come. I see you there. God sees you there. The mighty power of God is going to touch you. That's why he's calling you. If you will respond, if you will say, yes, Lord, here I am. I come and I call and I pray that prayer will be answered. Call unto me. That's, he said me is the only one that can solve your problem. There is no name under heaven by which you can be saved. No name that can heal every sickness. Take every infirmity away. There is no name that can break every yoke and destroy every work of the devil. It's the one that says, call unto me. And then he gives you assurance. He says, authority from heaven. Confidence from heaven. And he says, I will answer you. You in particular. If you have never got any prayer answered. Tonight is the night of answered prayer. Am I talking to somebody there today? If you have never seen miracle. Tonight is the night of miracle. A special miracle. A specific miracle. A definite miracle. The one that has your name attached unto it. And that's why God said... I will answer thee. That's you in particular. I said you in particular. Ah, this is your day. I said this is your day. And then he says, and I will show you. He will show you something. He'll say, come and see. You will see. If you are blind, your eyes will open. He says, come and see. If you are lame, you rise up and walk. He says, come and see. If you brought anybody deaf and dumb, their ears will open, their tongue will be loosed. If there's any tuberculosis there that is killing you, that death will vanish away. Life will come. Because it says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. He said, what you have never known, what you have never seen, what you have never felt, what you have never got, tonight is that night. Number one, I will save you. All your sins will wipe away. The guilt will take away. The oppression will take away. The judgment it will take away. Number one, I will save you. Number two, I will heal you. Somebody there is getting healed tonight. I said somebody there is getting healed tonight. If you call, if you tell him, if you shout it out, he will say, Lord, I am here. And you show him where the sickness is. You show him where that oppression is. He says, call unto me. And I will answer you. One, I will save you. Two, I will heal you. Three, I will cleanse you. You see, there are times we feel dirty. Can I come in the presence of God? I remember what I did. 
I remember I rolled in a spiritual mud. I feel dirty in my soul. I feel dirty in my mind. I feel dirty in my spirit. It says, call unto me. I will cleanse you. The blood of Jesus will wash you. It will wash you whiter than snow. I will save you. I will heal you. I will cleanse you. I will deliver you. It says there's no yoke that will not be broken tonight. I have a definite assurance in my heart. As I know that two and two equals four, I know that you and deliverance, you are together. Because he says, I will deliver you. I'm even seeing you now. And I see the miracle on your forehead. I see the deliverance right there. Yes, I see your wife there. I see your children there. Deliverance has come to your family. Every yoke is broken. All the powers are dark of darkness are crushed away from your life. And he says, I will bless you. Somebody there today. Any kind of blessing you have come for. He says, I will bless you. He says, I will provide for you. Poverty will go. Somebody there, poverty will go. Joblessness will go. I don't have anything to eat. That thing has turned around tonight. He will provide for you. And then he says, I will sanctify you. You know, sometimes when we believers come like this, it's like I bring my friend. He will bless your friend. He will bless you. I bring my neighbor. He will bless your neighbor. He will bless you. Everybody here today, you will not escape miracle. Whatever you need, believe us there. I said, believe us there. He will sanctify you. I will save you. I will heal you. I will cleanse you. I will deliver you. I will bless you. I'll provide for you. I will sanctify you. Look at this again. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things. Which thou knowest not. I'm talking to you tonight on praying confidently for supernatural wonders. Praying confidently. Tonight, there's no doubt. Tonight, there's no unbelief. It's the Almighty Himself that says He will answer your prayer. It's the one that says, Call, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things. Things you have never known. Praying confidently for supernatural wonders. Uh, look at verse 6. Look at verse 6 of that same chapter 33. Behold, I will bring it hells. And kill. And I will kill them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Do you see what the Lord said he will do? He said, whatever sickness is there, uh -huh, HIV AIDS will be healed tonight. And tomorrow you go for checkup. And the medical exam will tell you now your it's negative. No more HIV AIDS. Congratulations, you are here tonight. Because he says in verse 6, I will bring it hell and kill. 
I will cure them and reveal my turn to them the abundance of peace and truth. In verse 8, I will cleanse them from all their iniquity. Whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their transgressions. All their iniquities. Whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. Look at verse 9. And it shall be be to me a name of joy. Can you see your joy there? I see, can you see unspeakable joy there? That thing was written for you and waiting for you there. Are you hearing your name? Are you seeing your picture? Are you seeing the promise for you? Tonight you will rejoice. A praise and, and an honor before all the nations of the earth. As you go back to your places tonight, they will see glory upon your life. See miracle upon your life. See the power of God upon your life. Which shall hear of all the good that I shall do due unto them and it shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto each the Lord has called you tonight anytime the Lord calls somebody specially he always calls them to something good something special something specific and tonight the lord is calling you and you'll be a partaker of the of the promises of god in jesus name as a look at this messenger the lord has sent to you and i look at all the message that this prophet is bringing to you tonight the prophet tells us three things number one Number two, number three, and the prophet is coming from the presence of God. Number one, he looks at the problem. The problem. Number two, he comes with a promise. A promise. Number three, he comes with the power of God. Number one, the problem of sin and suffering the problem of sin and suffering many people are confused many people say they don't understand I go to church what should this happen to me I'm religious what should this happen to me I was born inside a Christian maternity why should this happen to me and I've been reading Bible. Why should this happen to me? I'm baptized in water. Why should this happen to me? Jeremiah said, I'll tell you. It says, number one, is a problem of sin and suffering. Sin and suffering wedded together many, many years ago since the time of Adam and they have never divorced or separated. Where you find sin, you find suffering. And the prophet is telling us, he says, that's the problem. But you will not die in your problem. Your life will not stop at point one. Your life will move out of point one somebody is coming out of point one what do you see there somebody coming out of point one and that's what I'm going to call you at the end of the message I say come out of point one come out of your problem you are coming out of problem am I talking to somebody there let me see your face you are coming out I come out say it with me I come out
Your life will not end on point one. Point number two. The promise of salvation for your soul. The promise of salvation for your soul. Light will replace darkness. Joy will replace sorrow. Possibilities will replace impossibility. The goodness of God will replace all the harassing works of the devil. Salvation will replace your sin. God will carry you like a baby. He said, you are mine. I forgive you. I cleanse you. I change your life. You are not my child. He will put you in a special place in the kingdom of God. From tonight. Are you hearing me? I said, are you hearing me? Is anybody hearing me there? I said from tonight. Joy. The joy of salvation. The joy of redemption. The joy of forgiveness. The joy of a new life. The promise of salvation for your soul. Your life will not stop there. Even if we stop there, salvation, salvation, that's wonderful. But we are not going to stop there until I lead you to number three. Power will come from heaven. Enter your heart. Enter your family. I will be searching. Where is sickness? Sickness will flee away. Where is satanic attack? Satanic attack will vanish away. Number three. The power of supernatural healing for the sick. The power of supernatural healing for the sick. I'm rejoicing with you already. I see what is going to happen to you. I see the power of God coming your way. Number one, the problem. Number two, the promise. Number three, tell me. Tell me. If it's going to be by your side there, I said number three, what is it? The power. The power of supernatural healing for the sick. And let's quickly look at number one. The problem of sin and suffering. Here the prophet is telling us. He said, yes, a promise is coming your way. But what's the root of your problem? What's the origin of your problem? Why is life like this? The problem of sin and suffering. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 3. Jeremiah chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 13. In Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 13, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God and hast cut out thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed the vo my voice, says the Lord. It says that's the genesis of the problem. Uh, don't, don't dodge and don't say I don't know about that. He said, acknowledge, accept, and confess, and say, Yes, I know the root of my problem. Is the problem of my sin. Is the problem of evil. He tells us in verse 25 of that same chapter 3. He said, We lie down in our shade. Our confusion covers us. For we have sinned. He said, We are confused because of sin. We are oppressed because of sin. 
we are being destroyed because of sin. Poverty will not allow us to eat because of sin. He said, because we have sinned. We have sinned against the Lord our God. We and our fathers from our youth even until this day and have not obeyed the voice of our God. It says that is the reason we are suffering. It says there is a connection between sin and suffering. If you say, if you say that the rain of blessing is not falling on your house, if you say that suffering will not allow you to rest, sickness and oppression will not allow you to breathe, it says, don't you know why? God is a good God. God is a wonderful God. It's not his will that anybody will suffer. He said, we cause the suffering for ourselves. We attracted the suffering to ourselves. He says, acknowledge that. You don't just be saying, I'm praying, I'm praying. He says, know the origin of your problem. Uh, look at chapter 4, verse 18. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. He said, this is thy wickedness. Because it is bitter. Because it stretches unto thine heart. He said, the sin is even pinching you now in your heart. It's like your heart will fly out. There is fear there. You are frightened. And there are enemies that are pursuing your life. And he said, but why? He said, you procured this to yourself. You attracted all this to your life. Uh, look at chapter 4 verse 22 I must allow the prophet to talk to you directly so that you don't say okay that is what pastor so and so said no look at verse 22 chapter 4 for my people is foolish they have not known me they are sorted children and it says they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge he said their ways are crooked they know how to steal they know how to cheat they know how to fight they know how to oppress they know how to attack they know how to destroy other people they are cunning and clever and crafty and they can do evil but to do right to live good and to live neat that one they don't know they know how to drink alcohol and they know how to use whatever instrument to attack they know how to kill they don't know how to raise to life they know how to defile they don't know how to keep others clean and he said that's their problem that's the reason why they are suffering the problem of sin and suffering Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 25 your iniquities have turned away these sins and your sins have withholding good things from you it is not Nigeria that is your problem it, you are the problem of yourself look at that verse again your iniquities have turned away all these good things from you your sins your evil your wickedness your violence you're not being on the side of God. You separate yourself from the creator. The one that can bless you. The one that can make your life good. That's why tonight, you will come out of your problem. 
Somebody there. Out. I said out. I said out. You will come out of the problem of sin. And then God will drive suffering away from your life. Look at verse 26 here. Chapter 5 verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. What does he mean among my people? So they go to church. And they say they are my people. They are baptized in water. They say they are my people. They read the Bible. They say they are my people. Among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares and they set a trap and they catch men. Verse 27 As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Their houses full of deceit. He said, That is our problem. But thank God tonight, information is coming, revelation is coming that God has sent a promise. And I said, this problem will not continue. God is sending a promise to you tonight. And the power of the Almighty God will back that promise. He will set you free. I said, He will set you free. Are you still waiting for the promise? I said, Are you waiting for the promise? You see, if there is something that's a problem, it's when the promise comes together with the power united together will drive every problem out of your life you come out of that problem of sin and suffering then the power of God will come upon you something good is happening to you tonight you come out of darkness I said you'll come out of darkness you'll come to the light you'll come out of the wickedness you come to the goodness of God you come out of evil come out of sin come out of transgression come out of iniquity and you come out of the you're coming to the forgiveness of the Lord it will happen to somebody there tonight. where is the person there goodness coming upon your life mercy coming upon your life forgiveness coming upon your life the smile of heaven the smile of heaven will come upon your life you will go out you will be free as a feather guilt will go condemnation will go you say praise the lord i am free number two the promise the promise of salvation for your soul you know the people when jeremiah came they were suffering and they, 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 when, they, when they saw jeremiah they said jeremiah come 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 why why are these things happening to us jeremiah chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 20 jeremiah chapter 8 verse 20 the harvest is past and summer is ended and we are not saved they said we have been waiting for the salvation of the lord thank god the harvest for you has not ended thank god summer for you has not ended the time of forgiveness has not ended for you the time of joy has not ended for you as they were asking and they were saying the harvest has passed the summer is ended and we are not saved for the heart of the daughter of my people and my heart I am black and astonishment has taken hold on me is there no Bam in Gilead is there no physician there 
Why then is not the heart of my people, the health of the daughter of my people, recovered? I'm saying God is here tonight. And God is going to wash you. And God is going to cleanse you. But there will be a prayer that comes out of your mouth. Already said, call unto me. Call unto me. But he didn't, he's not going to allow to just say, okay, I'm praying. He will tell you how to pray. When God tells you how to pray, and he says, tell me this. If you say what he has said, miracle will come upon your life. If you say what God has said, you must say, so that salvation will come, and healing will come, and deliverance will come, and power will come, and the promise of God will be fulfilled in your life. I rejoice with you tonight. Are you still there? I said I rejoice with you tonight. Look at the prayer. Because this prayer is going to be fulfilled according to the promise of God. Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. You see, it tells us how to pray. It says, you don't need to do read my role. Go here, go there, go there, bend down. It said, say it simple. You say, I'm the sick one. I'm the one having problem. I'm the one having attack. I'm the one that is poor. I'm the one that needs your help. I'm the one that needs deliverance. I'm the one that needs healing. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Look at the next thing there. Save me, and I shall be saved. Save me. That's a prayer you can pray to God. No other person can save you. This man has realized the problem. Now he got the promise. He said, I come with the promise in the presence of God. And I say, nothing in my hand I bring. God, my tears forever flow. God, my zeal no respite no. All these for sin cannot atone. Can I sacrifice ram? Can I sacrifice pots of oil? Can I burn candle? Can I go to River Jordan? Can I give money to the priest? It says nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to the cross I cling. Because I look at the Lamb of God. Lamb of God. Sacrifice for me. Lamb of God. That died for me. Save me. And I shall be saved. Salvation is available tonight. The promise of salvation for your soul. Why is it that he can save you? That you don't have to bring a sacrifice. You don't have to bring any money. You don't have to bring anything. Jeremiah tells us in chapter 23. And in just in verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 6. In his days Judah shall be saved. In the days of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. That taketh away the sin of the world. Because Christ has come. In his days. Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. This is his name. Whereby he shall be called. The Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. He's saying, you come to the Lord. And you say, I'm not righteous. I'm a sinner. I'm dirty. I'm defiled. But Jesus has come for me. He's a righteous Savior. 
and is my righteousness. I give my sin to him. He gives me his righteousness. And I can say now, is the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. The promise of the Lord is, whosoever comes, whosoever comes, coming out of problem, whosoever comes, coming out of darkness, whosoever comes, coming out of the degradation and the shame, whosoever comes unto me, I will in no wise cast off. That's why as we are coming today, salvation is waiting for you. Forgiveness is waiting for you. Cleansing is waiting for you. Because that's what you said you will do. But you must do something. You must make up your mind. And you must decide. I come out. And when you come out, problems of sin and sickness and suffering over. Tonight, I see you free. Tonight, I see you saved. Tonight, I see you coming out of that evil thing. And as you come out, problems gone. Sin gone. Condemnation gone. Number one, the problem. You are coming out of your problem. Are you there? Am I talking to somebody there? Somebody coming out there? And then, number two, the promise of God will meet you on the way. As you stand up, and I say, where you go? Where are you going? I'm going to Jesus. I'm going to my Savior. He is the Lord, our righteousness. As you are coming, Jesus, the Savior, will meet you on the way. Forgiveness will meet you on the way. Salvation will meet you on the way. And then, power. The power of supernatural healing for the sick. Praise the Lord tonight you are healed. I said praise the Lord tonight you are healed. Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm reading here from verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and kill. He said he will bring healing from heaven. I will bring while you are coming out of the problem, coming out of sin, coming out of suffering, coming out of sickness, coming out of darkness, coming out of occultism. He said, While you are coming, I'll meet you on the way. I'll bring health and kill. And I will kill them. Not only one person. On the right over there, healing. In the center there, healing. On the left over there, healing. Oh, at the back over there, healing. For that child over there, healing. Mama, I see the healing coming. Healing. Papa, deliverance and healing. It's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. Behold, I will bring it health and cure. I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And then if there's any attack over there, deliverance has come. I said deliverance has come. Tonight you'll sleep like a baby. They were pressing you on the bed. The power of God will drive them away from you. Miracle of healing. Miracle of deliverance. Jeremiah chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 21. And I will deliver thee. Who is God talking about here? I said who is God talking about here? The joy of the Lord will never leave your life. 
and I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. And that terrible sickness that came upon your life, tonight healing has come. A curable sickness that came upon your life, tonight healing has come. Jeremiah chapter 30. I'm reading from verse 17. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Internal wounds of ulcer, it will heal you. Eternal, uh, eternal sickness of cancer, it will heal you. You will not die of that cancer. Your life is precious in the sight of the Lord. All that issue of blood, tonight it will heal you. For I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee of thy wound, says the Lord. Because he called you an outcast. Saying, this is Zion whom no man seeks after. Your sickness became so terrible that the people that were spending money taking care of you, they have run away. They say they don't know whether you'll ever be healed. They'll see you this week. They'll see you healed. They'll see you delivered. They said, you see it herself. You see it, another person. Then you go near. Then you are smiling. Then they mention the name. They say, Oh, are you another person? Then you begin to tell them story. Story, story. This is my story. This is my testimony. Somebody has a testimony there. It will happen to you in Jesus' name. Look at verse 22. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Can God do it for you tonight? I said, Will God do it for you tonight? This problem, will he take it away? This sickness, will he heal this sickness? This infirmity, will he take it away? Anything too hard for God to do? Anything impossible for God to do? Welcome to the miracle arena. Welcome to the supernatural. Welcome to signs and wonders tonight. The promise of God has come to deliver you. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power, thy great power, and thy stretch out arm. And there is nothing too hard for you. And there is nothing too hard for you. Cancer, not hard for God. Paralysis, not hard for God. Blindness, not hard for God. Deafness, not hard for God. Oppression, not hard for God. Tonight, healing has come. Tonight, deliverance has come. Number one, the problem. Number two, the promise. Number three, the power. Those who respond to number one. And you come out of the problem. You say, I want salvation. I want forgiveness. I want the favor of God. I want the forgiveness of God. Number one, you come out of the problem. Jesus, I come. Savior, I come. My Redeemer, I come. As you are coming, the promise of God will meet you by the way. He will forgive you. He will cleanse you. He will save you. He will change your life. 
you will never be the same again as the promise of God is coming the power will follow the power will follow miracle will happen today miracle will continue with you during the week the rest of your life miracle 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 child of miracle daughter of miracle papa is coming your way mama is coming your way my little boy my little girl is coming your way you come out of the problem and then the promise of god be yes and amen in your life are you ready i said are you ready i said are you ready what are you if you're ready i said what are you if you're ready heaven is talking to you heaven is talking to you heaven is saying this is your day your day of salvation he says this is your day your day of deliverance this is your day the day of power it's about the nice closed it's about the nice closed can you see them for a moment god bless you god bless you god bless you you see them for a moment it's about the nice closed you have seen the problem it's the problem of sin and suffering if you are saying i recognize that i acknowledge that i confess that i come out i come out out of the sin out of the suffering i want to partake of the promise of god i want to partake of the power of salvation whatever you are you raise up your hand say yes lord i am here a candidate for miracle a candidate for the miracle of salvation a candidate for the miracle of forgiveness lord i am here you raise up your hand if you're raising up your hand you know what the word of god has said stand up you stand you stand for jesus you say yes here i am yes lord here i am you raise up your hand i come out of the problem out of the problem of sin what are you you raise up your hand and you stand up and then the promise of god is coming the promise of god is coming as you are coming out of your sin as you are coming out of your sin the promise of forgiveness will meet you on the way if you are raising up your hand you're standing up come out here i want salvation come out here i want salvation come out here i want forgiveness god bless you god bless you come god bless you come god bless you come yes 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 from the right hand side yes from the center yes from the left the lord is calling you and the lord is saying he wants to save you he wants to forgive you he wants to cleanse your life he wants to change your life the problem is seen the problem is a problem of sin and it says come it says come unto me all ye that labor and a heavy lady and i will give you rest oppression will stop suffering will stop sickness will stop all those nightmares will stop all the evil things the devil is doing will stop i'll say yes lord i come out of the problem the problem is a problem of sin that's what brings suffering god bless you keep on coming it's a day of joy it's a day of forgiveness it's a day of salvation god bless you keep on coming god bless you keep on coming the lord has been waiting for you he says he created you he created you for something good and for something peaceful you can come you can come let's solve this problem tonight let's solve this problem tonight the problem of sin and the problem of suffering let's erase the problem tonight let forgiveness come tonight let pardon come tonight let salvation come tonight it will cleanse you it will wash you it will put your life it will change your life but you come out of darkness you come out of occultism 
you come out of that gang you come out of that evil scene keep on coming keep on coming he's waiting for you he wants to save you he wants to forgive your sin he will give you salvation he will pardon you all the sins you ever committed in your life the guilt and the condemnation he will take everything away and then he will give you a new life he will give you a new life this so far away the lord is waiting for you keep on coming keep on coming he's waiting for you you come out of the problem before you can be met by the promise of god and whosoever everyone that comes everyone that comes the promise will meet you while you are coming the promise is for you forgiveness for you and pardon for you save me O lord and i shall be saved save me O lord and i shall be saved as you have come close your eyes you see it's a simple prayer i'm lost save me i'm a sinner save me i am bad make me good i am defiled cleanse me i'm guilty remove my condemnation lord i come nothing in my hand i bring jesus is my righteousness he is the one that died for you so as to save you and to take your sin away tell the lord tell the lord but tell the lord i come out i come out physically spiritually i come out of all those bad things tell the lord right now tell the lord right now i come out of those bad things but whatever they are you know them no matter what it is the lord will forgive lord i come out that's the problem i come out of that problem i come out of that scene i come for your salvation i come for your salvation i come for your forgiveness you will answer your prayer call unto me and i will answer thee and show you great and mighty things that you knew not raise up your hand now we're going to pray together father in jesus name we thank you for those who have come out of the problem of sin and have said bye bye to evil i pray that tonight will be the night of their salvation the night of their forgiveness every condemnation wipe away every guilt take away i pray that your joy of salvation will come to them and the new life will come to them according to your promise save them forgive them write their names in the book of life that this night will be a night of joy that they are now the children of god and i pray lord your grace will flood their lives your grace will fill their lives and you will not go back to those evil things anymore confirm that salvation in their hearts thank you because i know you have answered in jesus name i pray praise the lord say i am saved i am saved and the joy of salvation will never leave you in jesus name our counselors are there very quickly our counselors will give you slips of paper if you can write you write the correct information there we're rejoicing with you that your sins are forgiven 
What did John see with you that was saved? And after this now, for every one of us, those of us who came out, and those of us who are still sitting over there, power is coming to you tonight in Jesus' name. Be patient. Don't go away. Our um, leader will help us now with this uh, uh, counseling uh, session. And then after that, power, power, power in Jesus' name. Tonight is that night. It's a night of power. It's a night of miracle. It's a night of signs and wonders. You will not be a spectator. Somebody there said you will not be a spectator. Any sickness there. Any infirmity there. Any oppression there. Any affliction there. The hand of the Lord is touching you right now. Remember the problem. The problem of sin and suffering. Now we've taken care of that problem of sin. Suffering has to leave. Suffering has to run away from you. Sickness has to go away from you. Whatever the name of the sickness. Identify it right there. Lay your hand where that problem is. And we're going to pray. The promise of God is sure. He says, I will. I will heal. I will kill. I will deliver. He cannot fail. Raise up your hand. If you are waiting for the healing. If you are waiting for the miracle. And then after we pray, you, you are raising up one hand now. You are laying up, you are laying your hand where you have the problem. Whatever the problem may be, it has to go. It has to go. Because power is coming. And power is coming to you right there. If you are blind, your blind eyes will open. If you are lame, you rise up and walk. Any swelling there will vanish away. Cancer will dry up. Ulcer will dry up. HIV AIDS will vanish away. Whatever the name of the sickness, the name of Jesus is greater than them all. You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand on yourself. When you hear the final amen. It is finished. I said it is finished. Are you ready? Father in Jesus name. We glorify your name tonight. You are mighty God. The creator of the heavens and the earth. And there is nothing too hard for you. You are promised. You said you will heal. You are promised. You said you will deliver. You are promised. You said I will bring you. You are promised. You said you will show great and mighty things. Come in your power upon everybody tonight here in Jesus' name. 
That demonic attack, I command you. Deliverance has come right now. I command that evil spirit, evil power, come out in Jesus' name. That swelling in your body, any part of your body, you see the swelling of cancer or the swelling of tumor or the swelling of fibroid or the swelling of goiter or the swelling of any other kind of disease i command that swelling come out in jesus name lord i pray for those who have any sin they call incurable disease and you have gone here you have gone there you have not been healed your healing is coming to you right now lord touch them heal them in jesus name let your power strike out that incredible disease let your power crush that curse in their lives deliver them and break every yoke in jesus name that asthma i command you be healed now in jesus name lord i pray for those of issue of blood that blood has been flowing and flowing and flowing i command that issue of blood dry up in jesus name all those things walking about in your body I command that demonic object and that, 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 that uh, kind of demonic crawling thing in your body. Come out in Jesus' name. That person that has uh, had the soul in the poison. I command that poison to be neutralized. Cancel from your life. Cancel from your wife. Cancel from your children. And that curse and spell upon your family. I cancel it in Jesus' name. That pile, I command you, be healed in Jesus' name. And yeah, be healed in Jesus' name. The sword that refuses to be healed, I command you to dry up. Be healed in Jesus' name. If you brought anybody deaf and dumb, get them near right now. Those deaf ears are opening. The dumb tongue will talk. I command, be healed in Jesus' name. Deaf ears be opened. Deaf ears be opened. Dumb tongues be loosed. Lord, set them free in Jesus' name. I pray for those whose eyes are deep. Cataract in your eyes. Glaucoma in your eyes. Or total blindness. I pray the hand of the Lord will touch you right now. Blind eyes be healed in Jesus name. Open those eyes and see. Let light come to those eyes. Let sight be brightened right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Those who have any stroke, or those who have paralysis, or there is a, your waist that cannot hold you, I send for the power of Christ on your body. Be healed in Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. Let strength come. Let power come. Let the force of heaven come. And raise you up right now. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for everyone. On my right, healing. Miracles. Signs and wonders in front of me healing miracle signs and wonders right to the back receive your healing your miracle your signs and wonders on the left hand side over there healing miracle signs and wonders everywhere shout of miracle everywhere shout of healing everywhere shout of deliverance receive in jesus name 
Lord, confirm each everywhere. Thank you because I know it is done. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank God you got it. I say thank God you got it. I say thank God you are healed. Thank God you are delivered. He has broken every yoke in your life. Check up, you have a testimony. Check up, your miracle is there. Thank God it has happened to you. Check up, check up, check up.